a dangerous mental patient escapes from a psychiatric ward. Within hours, he has stolen a car. Now he leads Brisbane police on a reckless high-speed chase. A police helicopter follows his every move. The suit is at 80 kilometers now. All motor units exercise caution. Without his medication, his behavior becomes increasingly psychotic. All drivers be aware, this suspect is a previous incident of history of violent behavior. Extreme caution is necessary. At a crowded intersection, the suspect slows down. Police think they have him, but the demented driver punches his way through, flipping one police car and weaving around another vehicle. The way this escaped patient is driving, he'll be back in the hospital in no time, through the emergency room. More officers join the pursuit, but the suspect jumps from street to street, at times going in complete circles. Police get their chance when the suspect's way is blocked by traffic. On his right, a cement barrier boxes him in. But this lunatic isn't going to let a divider stop him. He drives clear over it and into oncoming traffic. Suspect is on the wrong side of the road. The wrong side of the road. He's still, he's still going now. Police can't let this madness continue. By now, even the pedestrians have had enough. One man runs to the car and tries to grab him. But the patient just hits the gas and barrels back over another divider. Approaching heavy traffic, he gives the officer behind him a chance to box him in. The officer moves up fast. I think I have him now, bad. But he's half a second and a half a foot too late. The suspect sees the trap and speeds through just in time. Then the cops get a break. A bus driver up ahead sees the close call in his rearview mirror and realizes he's in a position to get it right. Timing his move perfectly, the driver cuts over hard. The smaller vehicle is no match for the massive bus. Within seconds, Brisbane police are closing in. But the suspect's door is open in a flash. Suspect is sitting on foot, playing on foot. Officers are now in pursuit on foot. The man is fast, too fast for his own good. Racing through a hedge, he loses his step and stumbles down a hill. Within seconds, he's tackled from all sides. The mental patient has returned to the psychiatric ward without a scratch. His stolen vehicle didn't do as well. But a total car is a small price to pay for getting a violent mental patient off the street. Amazingly, no one was injured in this frantic chase down under.